Hey guys and welcome back to today's video. I am very very excited to do today's video because it's one that I just look forward to every single year and the response is also great on these videos every single time and it's kind of been a tradition to do these every year around this time and like you can tell from the title today I'm going to share with you my current skincare collection. Now my collection over the years you've seen like the ups and downs of it at one point it was huge um where i could literally fill like half of my bed like i have a double bed so like one half of it completely just with all my skincare products and i feel like this year it's not that huge which i'm kind of happy about because now i can actually use up my products before they go bad as well so that is great but i have my collection dispersed in like different areas of my house so um, majority of where i store most of it that i'm not actively using is inside this wardrobe right here so this is my wardrobe this is like a double wardrobe so this is my mom's side this is my side and um here i have like my clothes stored on top and then in the middle cubicle section one part is like my skincare along with some perfume and stuff as well but one part is my skincare then i also have my white cabinet which if you guys have not seen it um i will quickly show you a snippet of that as well but on top of that i have my skincare that i'm currently using so every single day when i'm doing my morning and my nighttime skincare routine i use the products that are kept on top of the cabinet so that is the second place where i store my skincare inside the cabinet i also have one box one section where i keep products that are new so if i have just received a parcel and um, i've just unboxed everything i throw away all the extra packaging and wrapping and everything and the products i keep inside the cubicle and i kind of collect stuff in that section so that once i have enough then i film a haul video and once i film the haul video then the stuff can go inside the wardrobe right here so that's how that works i do have some bath and body products that i have kept separately in a different uh, corner of my room uh that is majorly stuff that um, it's going to take me a while to reach for those things those are majorly a lot of backups and maybe a few new things but i'm not going to reach out for those products anytime soon so that is kept in a different corner of my house but i will show you that as well and then i have products that are inside my shower so uh, some shampoos my body wash collection and my face wash and body wash that i'm using currently is all inside my shower so that is how my you know skin care and beauty product collection so like skin care bath and body and hair care that's how the whole system works i am going to show you all of these things one by one and that's what this video is going to be about so i hope you guys enjoy it so this is the um wardrobe space i was talking about that has my perfume collection you can see right in the front and then some perfume boxes on the top those boxes actually have perfume inside them as well and then towards the side you can see here that i have arranged a lot of my skincare outside and then if you can see the drawer system the red uh, strip with uh, the beige drawer you can see one drawer so basically that uh, it's a two drawer system I'll show you in just a second so it'll make more sense but that has skincare up and then no it's got makeup on top and then skincare on the bottom so that has a lot of smaller stuff like some serums and moisturizers inside but majorly my goal is to fit everything inside just this um and I haven't reached that goal yet because I have a few things kept right here so this is the other section where I have majorly my clothes stored and then you can see a little bit of skincare products some body lotions as well so this is kind of like some extra stuff and then this it has cotton pads and some of my nail paints and then we have some nail paints which are outside because yeah i used them yesterday so that is that uh, i will of course take you through to take you through uh through every single thing and uh, sharing that next so first i'll show you every single thing that is on this side so first we have a bottle of shampoo we have uh, a sunscreen which is here it was actually inside this 
but uh, I took this out mainly because the current sunscreen I'm using is going to be out very soon. So this is just easy access. Mainly my perfumes are like stored right here in the front, right? So accessing this drawer is a little hard. So if I know that there is something that I'm going to reach out for in the next couple of weeks, what I do is I just take it out. Palisade. Like for example, this as well. I want to be using this. So I took it out. Palisade. This is the Earth Rhythm Phyto Gel. Um, I thought this is supposed to be like a serum treatment um, or like a sleeping mask, but it's actually supposed to be a moisturizer. By the way, ignore this in the bottom. Those are just all the bed sheets and towels and stuff. This is my nail paint collection along with some cotton. And then we have some sample perfume ka covering. We have some nail paints. We also have two body lotions right here which i'm not currently reaching out for uh, this is not the actual vitamin e and avocado body lotion i i think decanted my plum hawaiian rumba body lotion inside this because the hawaiian rumba body lotion card dabba is like 250 ml and uh, i'm not the biggest fan of like the packaging it can be difficult to like take our product out of it sometimes but this is the soothing um oatmeal and chia butter body lotion this one i'm saving for the winters basically but i've had this for a while and then some more random stuff that's acetone on the back nail paints perfume samples whatever then let's move on to this section this um so i'll show you all the products that are kept out first um so we have some live on hair serum we have this um, face shop three in one uh, cooling water it's like a hydrator, mini so um, green tea oil. We have the banana body yogurt that I'm basically savoring. There's one more uh, which is outside the wardrobe, but there are two backup of the ponds. Light moisturizer. I have one that I'm currently using that you'll see in a, some time. And then I, this is the backup. Uh, Be Blunt Hair Serum. Indulge Your... Uh, hair revitalizer or vitalizer whatever juicy chemistry tea tree basil water again this is the backup bottle and then i have one more bottle that i'm currently using nika body lotion this uh, californian almond milk range is the only range that i actually like so i did get the body lotion just to try it out and see we have this toli moly um, first light essence um hoping to use this after i finish up the face shop one backup nevia face wash love this stuff but nevia is not cruelty free so this is going to be my last tube of this unless and until uh, nevia goes cruelty free my favorite uh, kiko milano micellar gel cleansing gel uh i don't want to drop anything uh, and then this is some stuff at the back a uh, backup bottle of the tea tree uh, skin clearing facial wash this is one that generally lives in my um, bathroom washroom but this is the backup bottle which is basically huge like you can tell this is the um, 400 ml size that only comes around during the winters so even though i have this backup bottle i'm gonna probably buy maybe two more of these in like november december before my membership expires uh, you can see the plum green tea renewed clarity night gel ka backup and then these are three and then I have two more inside the drawer system. Tricone um, face wash. Uh, this is the L-glutathione face wash. Uh, I have to use this. haven't used it yet. I haven't even opened it. Uh, this is the body shop ka cleansing balm. Ek second, my heart is not The body shop chamomile uh, cleansing butter by the time you watch this video i would have probably started using it already or i am looking forward to using this like i have the plum cleansing balm i'm using currently i want to try this one out and then you can also see the himalaya ka blueberry egg second himalaya ka blueberry face wash again love this stuff this is going to probably replace my uh Nivea purifying face wash as my holy grail yeah I have a ton of face wash in my bathroom um, which is why all of these tubes are like kept here as backup and I'm not going to reach out for them 
anytime soon also i'm sorry i tilt my phone sometimes while trying to reach out for other products i'm trying to do this with two hands and it's it's not easy um anyway um i'm going to show you what is inside the drawer as well in just a second so this is what the drawer system looks like uh the top section is majorly where i store most of my makeup and then there is miscellaneous stuff there is some perfume there is lens stuff lens solution god knows what not but the skin care goodies are in the bottom this is my, where all my actives are i was initially going to make this only for actives but then i realized that bahut sara khali jagah bacha hua hai so i put some moisturizers i put uh, even a hair serum for that matter sleeping mask sleeping mask moisturizers there's a lot of stuff in here these are majorly where the goodies are so um i'll just take out things one by one this is a skin it's not a whitening serum please it's a pigmentation serum uh that i got from amazon based is off a of friend's recommendation who has nothing to do with the youtube space she just got it like youtube beauty space beauty community she just got this randomly on amazon and she shared like great reviews with me so i was like i'm going to check this out too and it's got kojic acid so i was like let's try it out then i got another hair serum in here this is the parachute coconut serum oil um i got the pixi okay should i drop to this sorry just give me a second uh i got the pixi clarity tonic in here i got the uh, this is not the Laneige water sleeping mask by the way i actually had like another uh, sleeping mask usme zyada nahi bacha hua tha so i just put it inside this dabba but the laneige uh, water sleeping mask i finished a long time back then i have uh, the kaya red grape and niacinamide sleeping mask again i got this because i went to the kaya clinic for like a consultation and like i had some credited like money points that i could redeem for stuff so i was like chalo ye le lete hain let's see how it works i'm not a big fan of kaya skin care products by the way in general so i don't know what to get uh this is the purito bha dead skin moisture gel again i don't reach out for this on a regular basis it's a very specific targeted treatment product so i keep this in here then i have uh the orthrhythm phyto repair moisturizer again ye november mein bahar nikalne wala hai abhi filhal ke liye i'm just keeping it inside uh dot in ki this is my backup bottle bought it recently uh and then i have one bottle outside also so if you're wondering why i have two this is the backup one and that one is pretty much on its last leg i have two three more uses left and then i'll be done with it um uh, minimalist hyaluronic acid serum indulge your squalene oil um uh, purito vitamin c moisturizer um uh, tricon sunscreen again this is a backup um uh, what else do i tell you you'll always see a few of that in my collection at least one if not more uh phytofuse moisturizer by the earth rhythm uh pure bubbles clarity lotion uh requil tinted sunscreen some more hydrators um minimalist salicylic acid again this is a new bottle but i've used that one a couple of times this one i'm really looking forward to using like i'm waiting to use this this is the um osrhythm 2% tranexamic acid serum and then we have some products by deconstruct skin care i have their uh nice and amazing salicylic acid serum and then i have their exfoliating peel um uh, this is an ori flame uh, face oil that i bought recently this was just to support a friend who had recently started again um she had the ori flame um, i don't know ori flame mein kya bolte hain i know it's avon representative because i am an avon representative but um, ori flame representative i guess so she took that up and i just wanted to support her i don't support mlms but you know when a friend is into it you just feel bad not doing it so just to support her i got this um it's a tea tree face oil i guess yeah tea tree and lime i don't use it um, i don't know what i'm going to do with it and then we have two plum night gels so yeah we have a total of 5 which is excessive 
but it is what it is that's all i have to say for myself and then this is my um i told you guys in the beginning i have some bath and body products that are like just backups and stuff and you can see when i say backups and when i say that i love my hawaiian rumba products this is what i mean so we have one two three four body lotions we have two shower gels we have one uh body yogurt and then we have some illuminance cleansing balm backups i have two and then this is a deodorant stick that i got from like again i don't know if it's just cruelty free or not but i just love these deodorant sticks and you can get them at a very affordable price like you can see at a local department store that is nearby my house so i'm just like you know i try to be as perfect as possible but sometimes you just want a good feel good product so i got this these are all the backup things that i have that are stored in a corner in my room but i just got them on your on my bed just to show you a glimpse and now we're going to move on to stuff that uh, i recently bought that i'm yet to haul so this was what i was talking about this is all stuff that i've kept inside my white cabinet in one of the sections where i collect products that i want to show you in a haul video so these are two nail paints that i actually got yesterday from the local like food bazaar big bazaar that i have uh, nearby and then this i got from the nike store actually not from the website because i had like a gift card and my mom was like kya khareedna hai so i went to buy a perfume which i didn't buy then i went to buy the lipstick and then i was like let's just get this because i do have my like i had my eye on this i wanted to get it so i did and then um, this is stuff that again came yesterday i believe um i still have more stuff that is coming in which is why i'm waiting to film the haul because i did film a haul video which is going to probably go up before this video and i wish that it was a slightly bigger collective haul like ye or wo agar sab ek sath hota to better hota but it is what it is i'm a virgo i'm kind of a perfectionist i'm never happy with what i'm doing um anyways let's quickly talk about the domaco stuff that i got i got this and then this salicylic acid spot treatment gel again you might be wondering why do you have two new salicylic acid products because a a girl who has acne prone skin can have can never have enough salicylic acid and b when i was buying this i was confused ki niacinamide loo ya retinol loo ya salicylic acid loo i have two niacinamide serums already so i thought salicylic acid would be better but then i forgot ki maine ye bhi order kiya tha so that's how i ended up with two salicylic acid products and uh, these spot treatment like patches again i have the spot patch ones um that i will probably go through eventually so then i thought let me get these and uh, the ones that i have are just hydrochloric patches this one also has salicylic acid so that's interesting so i got that and i got this from dermaco and then i got these three from the earth rhythm website um when they were having their flat 50% off sale so this is my favorite 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 moisturizer this i also absolutely freaking really love like if you told me to rank the phyto clear phyto ceramide and phyto fuse i would not be able to do that they are all my favorites but this is truly the winner like honestly this is the winner this is my fourth or fifth bottle of it i was um the new packaging though i want to quickly can i show it to you have i opened this no i probably haven't but the newer packaging is basically completely opaque so um i don't like that about it because i don't get to know ki ye kab khatam hone wala hai so mine i was like almost out of and then i had to quickly place an order for this and luckily this arrived before i could finish that up like it was like within 24 hours so it was not that bad but yeah okay so moving on to the stuff that is in my shower we have this whole stuff that is um kept on i want to say like a shelf of sorts it's just like one piece of i don't know granite i think so it's made of um i don't have like a cabinet cabinet or anything inside my washroom it's like a small tiny little thing uh, you barely have space to do your business there we don't have space to like construct any storage so this is all the stuff that is kept on that granite shelving thingy and then these four things are kept on uh, the actual like 
sink you know so um this is my current body wash this is actually the plum hawaiian rumba body wash it's the same types ka bottle and you will notice a trend here and yeah i think those are the only two bottles but i love the same types bottles as well in terms of like ease of usage so what i do is i kind of transfer my plum hawaiian rumba body washes into these because that packaging i'm not really a big fan of in terms of the shape and in terms of the usage again the pump i don't really think is as helpful as they probably thought when they were making it any which ways moving on this i keep on my um, sink as well in the hopes that i will use it but i have never used it ever i'm just not a body scrub person but i hope that i will be because a this smells amazing b i really want to use it but i just never do like i've never even used this once but i keep it on there because i just think ki agar samne rahega to i will tend to use it again weird psychology anyway this is the body shop tea tree facial wash ka bottle again but you will notice a trend if i like a bottle packaging i will repurpose it a lot so this has the mama earth uh, tea tree face wash inside it and uh, that packaging again i'm not a big fan of i feel like by the time i flip open the cap and i like try to pour out liquid way too much comes out this has much much better packaging which i prefer so i have like transferred the product into this and then this is the shampoo that i'm using currently it's the garnier ultra ultra blends detox shampoo so that is that this is stuff again that i mentioned i keep on my sink and then this is the stuff that i keep on the shelf so we have the plum hair mask the original one the olive and macadamia one and we have the flossum uh, cake therapy hair mask as well uh, the one that i'm using currently is the flossum one actually and then this one i just have as a backup i bought it during one of the sale i believe probably then we have the plum hawaiian rumba shower cream again i don't think i've used it yet i'll probably use this in the winters then we have the fiamma devils body wash again i showed you this in a recent haul video i'm pretty sure either it's up by now or it's going to be up then we have two bottles of the body shop tea tree face wash now again this is my current bottle and i don't know if you can tell but i'm almost out of it um so i did grab my backup bottle from my wardrobe and i am storing it in my um washroom currently so th that is that uh, we have the flossum um pre shampoo salicylic acid treatment as well we have a backup bottle of my tresemme um shampoo this is my favorite shampoo of life pretty much that's a backup bottle and then we have my uh body wash collection we have the uh pampering vanilla body wash from saint types we have the purifying sea salt one as well we have the soothing oatmeal and shea butter one and we have the plum hawaiian rumba shower gel in another old saint types ka bottle this is um a shampoo concoction so basically because the shampoo doesn't work for me i did mix the tresemme one inside it to kind of make it work for me taki at least utna to lather ho ki main usko use kar paun basically so that's what i came up with and that is that after i finish this garnier shampoo i'm going to move on to using this concoction and then we have two um Avon dandruff shampoos ke bottles I don't really suffer with dandruff but sometimes my scalp can get a little bit dry and I feel like normal shampoos dry out my scalp that's when I use this because these have more of like a moisturizing kind of a feel so that's what I've saved those for but yeah that is all the stuff that lives in my shower hey guys so this is like the last bunch of stuff But I haven't showed you yet. Um, this is all the stuff that I keep on top of my um, makeup cupboard. So this is the white cupboard that I talk about all the time, and this is basically the stuff that I reach for on an everyday basis. This is all my daily skincare products that I reach for. Most of them are. So I'm gonna quickly show you show you what I have going on here. Obviously, I have my lens case. I have these two nail um, things because I did my nails. sort of recently and then i forgot to put them back so that's why they are still here they are not supposed to be here 
we have lip balm i keep this but i don't use this on a regular basis i will be completely honest on that i keep it on top because i don't want to like forget about it but i also don't use this every day to be completely honest another product that i have been like i was using this regularly but then i kind of stopped this is the plum body love in um pit cream i spoke about this in a product i regret buying if you want to know my thoughts on that go check out that video um it's just your because again similar to this one i need to reach for it so that i'm able to use it up but uh, currently i'm not using this i'm using another deodorant i'll talk about in a few minutes uh we have a perfume right here a roll on perfume again some days i do like just quickly put this in my bag if i'm using a warm perfume on a particular day like a warm scented perfume this one i'll throw in my bag um to take with me to touch up otherwise i just leave it here it's not supposed to be here again it's just there are a bunch of random things as well which i cannot tell you why they're here they're just they're just here this one should actually be on this side which is my mom's side by the way i'm not going to take you through these products because again this is stuff that i've given to my mom so yeah uh moving on next we have this juicy chemistry uh toner you saw another one earlier in this video and then this is the one that i'm currently using that i'm almost out of if you can see i'll be done with this one in a few days uh we have my lens solution we have this um moisturizer from swiss skincare it's the vitamin c moisturizer um and i dropped my perfume i'm sorry for that uh these two i will explain in some time why these are here um for now i'm just going to keep them aside and i'm going to show you my cleansing balm which is again almost over uh we have my indulgio um head vitalizer we have some body lotion we have aloe vera gel dry shampoo obviously and then this is majority of my skincare so my tricone sunscreen azelaic acid by the earth rhythm this is my current uh deodorant that i've been using and again the reason the cap is like this is because uh the packaging is kind of faulty so we make it work um minimalist chemical peel minimalist niacinamide my hair serum that i'm using at the moment is from the beauty co uh you must have seen that in a haul this is another tub this is my current tub of the pons gel moisturizer which will be out soon as well or uh, through them clear skin serum tricone radiant skin serum uh this one i'm just trying to finish or uh, there's a little bit of product left inside but i typically just mix this with my moisturizer and use it all over my face i don't use it as a spot treatment um yeah cosrx aha and cosrx BHA. This is the one with willow bark extract. So, yeah, I think I covered everything. The only thing I did not cover was these two. So the Pons Light Moisturizer is the one that I had, but I have the huge tub. Okay, the fifty uh, gram, two fifty gram tub. Sorry, and um, I had started reaching like the bottom of it, so it was hard to like put my finger inside and get product out. So basically, I transferred the moisturizer into these two containers. so um it's just easier to reach for because these are like narrow and not that deep so yeah these actually have the pons um gel uh, no pons light moisturizer inside them but yeah those are all the things that i have on top and if you're wondering what this is this is actually the spot patch um it's on the brand spot patch their uh, the full sheet situation that they have going on again this is your and then i also had my mini um, stickers of the spot patches uh, also your but then i used all of those stickers up so i have to remove my new packet of the dermaco ones the new ones that i got um but yeah that's why this is hanging around your because in case i need it if i keep this inside my collection i feel like i will kind of forget that i even have it so again i like to keep it here on top but yeah uh very subtly trying to cover the fact that i was <laughs> showing you guys my feet but uh, yeah those are all the things and i pretty much have covered every single thing that is a part of my skincare collection apart from the new products that i got recently which you guys will be seeing in a haul so um yeah stay tuned for my skincare haul but yeah those are all the products you guys